Disney. That's right. We're still in Hell's Kitchen, because where else would Edward Carnby be? We got to resume a save game. Last time, we uh, picked. We were able to pick up the amulet, and then we teleported to here. So what's um, ha happening? You know, it's kind of hard to say what's happening at any point in time in Alone in the Dark. We're in a we're we're in a new part of the house. That's the important part, and we found liquor. Look, as long as you're in somewhere new to explore and you find booze on the floor, you're doing okay. If you're Edward Carnby, if you're the reptile. All right, no one in here. So that's good. A Tommy gun and a loading clip. Can can I pick them up? Oh. Oh. What oh, what's what's this what's this now? This 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 acrobat wanna enter combat with Carnby? Because I don't, I don't, I think that is, I don't know if that's wise. Oh man, look at these moves! Well, that guy just has a gun. Can he shoot through him? It's it's unclear. Yeah, we're not feeling too good. I can't, I can't get... I can't take both... See, both of these guys are, are a pretty good combo. Because one of them is going to hand-to-hand -hand with me. Well, the other... And moving real fast. The other one's using a gun. Well, I probably should try... The... The gun... In that box. I mean, I'm assuming I picked it up. The other Tommy gun we have... Uh, uh, let's see. Yeah, that's the broken one, right? Oh, he can kick... He, that, that guy can hit him. They, the enemies can hit each other, I guess. We're feeling awful. Yeah, that's, that is not working. Alright, we're just gonna have to make a break for it. Pardon, everyone. Pardon. Hello, hello. Hey, you. Hello, excuse me. What's in here? Well, I mean, now that we're up close to each other... I mean, he is coming in here. If I can just get one-on-one -on -one with the green guy, then it'd be fine. But martial arts man... ...is a problem. Let's try running into a different room. Oh, the clown! Well, this is the room where Grace was in at the beginning. Grace does not appear to be here right now. Is there anything over here? 
that would be of interest. See, as long as I keep moving, he can't actually hit me. But, I mean, he can't really keep it up forever, I guess. The guy with the gun does not seem to have noticed me as of yet. Which is good. Alright, so... Why don't we try our battle door? I don't know if it can be possibly be fast enough to take both these guys on. Seems unlikely. Oh no, he's, he's heard me now. So is there anything in here we should be paying attention to? Oh, well, there's a jack-in-the-box. Doesn't seem like I can do anything with it. Or at least, if I could actually have time, maybe I could do something with it. But it's hard to say. It's hard to say. All right, I guess let's just get drunk. Eat our eggs. Don't drink the whiskey. We know we know about that. I guess that's as much health as we're going to have. Right, so, Acrobat is the first one to notice us. No cartridges. Um, I don't know if you can hurt him when he's flipping. Oh, Adam. The Der did I? I thought I didn't use the Derringer. And maybe I did at some point. Hmm. Alright, but then he hears me. If it was just one of them, then it wouldn't really be a problem. The clown does not get involved until we go into the bedroom. Just like in real life. It's hard, it's hard to do anything against this combo. Well, I guess we could also try... I mean, I doubt it, but I, we could also try putting the Santa suit back on. Will the man in white attack Santa? I mean, come on, it's Santa. Apparently, yes. Apparently, he will attack Santa. How does the sword stick work against him? Not well. Okay, here comes the guy in green. 
So if the, if combat was the answer here, I don't know if it is. It seems like it probably isn't. But if it was, you would have to take out the man in white very quickly. And maybe we would just use the Thompson to do that. But shooting him is hard. Shooting is slow and he is very fast. Now, will he come over here? Yeah, he will. Also, aiming with the gun is terrible, but you already knew that. There's also the idea of getting both of them to hurt each other. Which they can, on occasion. It's just not often. It seems that once I leave this room, the man in white will notice me. I don't know if there is a way to stop that from happening. I doubt there's anything else in here. It's a pretty empty room. And none of the weapons are effective. Battle Door still remains the first one. I know that enemies can hear me if I run. Now, it seems like he will see me if I walk. So I don't think there's any way of stopping him from just seeing that I'm here. Yeah, here he comes. And if I walk in, in this area, then the green guy will notice me, even if I don't do anything, I think. Well, maybe not. I mean, maybe I have to actually attack for him to- Yeah, he's not- it doesn't seem like Green Man is doing anything. So if I'm walking and not attacking, maybe he just doesn't move. But once I start attacking, he's gonna know. I don't think I can be far enough away unless I get as far as possible before I actually do anything. I don't think that's gonna work. I doubt it would work. But once I start swinging the battle door, I think he will know I'm here. Yeah, he comes out right when I do that. So, pretty sure there's no way to stop Man in White from coming after me. If I walk, Man in Green doesn't hear me, but as soon as I attack, Man in Green will hear me. So... I mean, you'd think probably the thing I would need to do is to use the gun to kill Man in White as fast as possible, but as you saw, aiming is bad. Aiming is just really bad. And Man in White moves so fast. Much faster than I can aim. So how about... We get the gun. We walk as far away as possible. Oh, is he down? Okay, he's down. He's down. Okay, so that... Okay, we were able to do it. With him down, we should be able to just get in real close range with Green Man. As this has worked with other, en other gun-toting enemies. We 
We have to rush real fast when he goes backwards to get within range. I think he's down. Health is... I mean, we could always drink some more liquor. I don't feel good about that victory. I don't feel good about that. Was that really the way you do it? That doesn't feel right. I got a key. I got a grenade. Wow, he had this and didn't use it, huh? And liquor. All right, let's save a game. Look at the size of this bucket. Didn't really think about it until Carnby stands right next to it. Look at, this, look at the size of this thing. Could almost take a bath in that. Alright, first let's take a look in here. So, the Jack in the Box. Hey, it's One-Eyed Jack from Jack in the Dark. Um... Anything we should do with him? Well, I don't think I have, like, a, a mirror on me. What, can I use a hook? I still don't know what to do with this hook. And nothing happens when I press myself up against him. He's brighter colors than the rest of the room, so... you It looks like you're supposed to... Be paying attention to that. Alright, nothing's happening as I rub the walls. It's gotta be the, the jack-in-the-box, though. Maybe I just don't have what I need for him yet. Alright, clown is in here. So is clown just combat again? He gets in real close, so once again, let us try the battle door. Look, I'm gonna keep doing this, and if you walk into it, it's your own fault. It doesn't have to be this way. Oh, the epic combat between private investigator and clown. You've never seen a battle like this. All right, let's... All right, all right, all right. What is this? What is he doing? He did other things previously, right? Like, he, he like, attacked me before, I thought. Is this really the only thing he's doing? Can I smack him? So far, no. Is he invincible when he jumps? I mean, this is, we do need to get revenge on the clown. He's the one who killed our friend. Is he just gonna follow me around? All right. You gonna come this way? Alright, is there some place I should be leading you? Can you tell me what to do with this jack-in-the-box? I feel like it's important, but I don't know what we should be doing with it. Yeah, can you come over here and take a look at this? What are we doing with this thing? Well, that's not really what I meant. Look, I thought you were my enemy, but if you want to be a sidekick, I guess that's fine. I just don't really know what we should be doing right now. This is a new area of the house. All right, let's take stock. It's a new area of the house. Uh, we, we teleported in, in this room. I don't think we can teleport back because I don't have the amulet. Hey, you wanna walk, you wanna stand on this thing? I mean, I don't know if that'll do anything, but you wanna, you wanna jump up and down on it? 
Yeah, start jumping up and down on it. It doesn't seem like that's doing anything. All right, so we have a... This part of the house is pretty small. We don't have much to do. It looks like there's, like, a door right here, but maybe it's not. Like, nothing happens when I look at that. Also, nothing happens when I press myself up against any of this stuff. I don't suppose this is a pushable. Doesn't seem like it. This ladder doesn't seem to do anything. So then we have this storage room here, just like a bunch of stuff in it, and a jack-in-the-box, which seems relevant, but it's not doing anything. There's also an oil lamp, and of course in the original game the oil lamp was an important item. Uh, but it doesn't seem like anything's happening when I rub myself up against the oil lamp. There's also a, a chest here, but maybe that's not openable. And of course the jack-in-the-box. I don't know what we need to do with that. I don't have a mirror, and I don't have candy. box where I got the Thompson and the gun and the ammo. Nothing else in there. Windows. And then the bedroom. Now, I don't know what's going on with this wall over here. Like, the wall looks weird, but I don't really know what this is supposed what's supposed to be happening here. Oh, okay. The, oh. Snakes. Snakes is what was happening. That's not alone in the dark that we know. Walk right into- walk into the room, instantly die. Okay, you can see, like, the green lines on the floor. Like, those are snakes. Okay, so there is another room back there. How do I get past the snakes? Alright, let's look at the rest of the room. We know that this is the bedroom that Grace was in during the intro. This is this, She's not here now. I guess uh, Stryker, our friend, came in through this window. We came in the long way around. So we have this clown who's following us and just jumps and doesn't seem to be attacking us despite him murdering Stryker. Not really sure what to make of it. I, I need to move this clown somewhere, but where? All right, let me just back up into the snakes and try to move forward as soon as possible. Back that thing up, Carnby. No, this, this, the, the clown was blocking me. The clown blocked me. Okay, let me try running through the snakes. Like, the snakes might take a second to get activated. No, no, they don't. They don't. They're instant. They're in that is instant. All right, items. Do I, th I throw a grenade at the snakes? That seems excessive. It seems like that's not really a snake-focused solution. But I did get a grenade from that guy. Let's see how it works. Grenade, use. I don't see why I should blow everything up, says Carnby. Right, it's not it's not the right time to blow everything up. That's later. All right, we got a key. Um, there are no locked doors around us right now. There is a locked door in the previous area in like the 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 pool room, but we can't get back there right now. A Thompson. Uh, there's this notice about the red ball ornament for the Christmas tree. A doubloon. Can I use a doubloon? No. Is 
There's the hook. What do I do with a hook? I still haven't figured out what to do with the hook. There's the sack. We could put on it. No, not that. We could put on a, a Santa Claus suit. Will the snakes attack Santa Claus? I mean, probably. An empty snack sack. Um, if I use it, I think I just take the Santa suit off. Yeah, that's what we do with it. What happens if I just put the empty sack down? Alright. Yeah, we can just put the sack down. Guess I'll take the empty sack. Can I scare the snakes? I'm not here for fun. I'm not here. That's not what I'm here for. Then we have our clown friend who's just jumping up and down. Where, where do I need him to jump up and down? Jump into the sack. There's no room. Right, because he's right there. Jump into the sack. I want to see you jump in that. No, he's not. I guess he's not jumping because there's an item there. Alright, I can't walk in there. I die instantly. Is there anything that he could do to protect himself from snakes? Well, Santa Claus does wear boots. Can that, can that protect him from the venomous bites? It cannot. Santa is not immune to snake bites. Alright, the other thing is that we have the Jack in the Box. And the Jack in the Box looks like it's something you could interact with. But nothing happens when I rub myself up on it. Nothing happens when I push it. Use the balloon on Jack in the Box? Oh, that worked. What? I don't understand? I got that. I should throw it. Would it, maybe a clown would like a pom-pom? Excuse me, Mr. Clown, would you like a pom-pom for the end of your hat? Maybe you should go, uh... What for, he says. I was going to, like, make him go into the snakes. So, do I need to be in a certain place to throw the pom-pom? He says, what for? What for? Like, you should... I, I should throw this at the snakes, and then you should, like, go after them. Oh, wait, there... Is that it? All right, go after it. Like, is he immune to snakes? He sure is. Or maybe not. Did he die? I guess he's dead. I guess we've aven we've avenged the death of our friend. Ow. Okay. We're done with that section and we're back in this one. Wow, you know, if I didn't kill all those dudes, they would be like all in this room right now. We would be surrounded by dudes. Can you imagine how many dudes would be around us shooting guns right now if we had not killed those dudes previously? All 
Um, I got a key. And there is a locked door upstairs. Is it for this door? Because it's the only locked door that I know of. Here we go. What we got in here? Oh no! We walked right into a trap. I was waiting for you, Conby. By the horn of Beelzebub, the flying Dutchman was calling me. It was like honey to a bee. All right, I guess this is one I Jack. What a handsome fellow! The enemy wanted to put an end to it. Its cannons spouted death. No matter. My ship was sinking, but my praise bridge flowed with blood. On this Xmas Eve of 1724, the cries of pain filled the air like the most glorious of hymns. The captain, one Nichols, told me to go to the devil. He died cursing me. You will die by my sword, Jack! Ha <laughs> ha! His sword remained stuck on the deck of his ship, the flying Dutchman. My lieutenants greedily burst the locks of the hold. The crew seemed disappointed with the loot, but I knew we had taken the finest of all treasures. And in Elizabeth's eyes, I could read our destiny, and death became an illusion. How does she do that with her hair? I signed the pact, and so did my men. The Dutchman was ours. From then on, thousands of legends were being told about the Flying Dutchman. We hid here in 1824, but the cliff collapsed on our ship. And so our land flowed with blood, and we named our conquest Hell's Kitchen. A land with no past offered itself to us to guarantee our future. We built our mansion, and since then, we reign undisputedly! <laughs> My men will take you on our ship. You will meet the same fate as Grace. Also, I didn't realize when I Jack was the, the narrator for all these books. But where did Grace go? She just kind of walked on out of the room. Uh oh, Carnby's in a jam. Well, we probably should save a game. Is this over here? No. Eh? Hmm? Should I push anything? Doesn't seem like it. You have like this little hole over here. Should I throw a grenade you through it? And I don't see why I should blow it up. Well, if you say so. Um, but no, that's. Um, is it time to use a, a hook? Well, may maybe not there. What do I do with this hook? Oh, that, okay, yeah. That's, yeah, that's it. Well, the hook did open doors in the first game.
Well, he said that he could only be killed with Nichols' sword, and the sword is still in the deck of the Flying Dutchman. So clearly we need to find the ship and get that sword. Okay, that takes us back out here. How did we get in there? Like, it was dark. Did, like, Carnby just, like, walk in here, and it was completely dark, so he just, like, walked forward saying, Oh, where am I going? It's so dark. I am alone in this darkness, or at least I think I'm alone. I don't think there's anything else in this room. I gotta feel my way around. I gotta feel my way around to, to find a light switch or a lamp or, or torch or something. But I can't seem to find- I'm just walking forward and I don't- I'm not finding anything. Oh, what's this? Is that what happened? Well, alright. One-Eyed Jack and Grace are now out of that room. So where did they go? I feel like at this point, we've killed a lot of the, uh, the henchmen, but we know that the witch is around somewhere. Sure, yeah, we can't go out through the front door, I'm sure. Uh-oh, but someone's coming in through the front door. Oh, my head! Ah, migraine! Oh no, we're like a zombie now, I think. But now we're playing Grace. It's a, it's a very good run animation. All right, Grace has gotten out of the mansion. She's hiding around. I, I appreciate the teddy bear artwork for her uh, inventory. She doesn't have any items, however. All right, I don't. I doubt she can like push this to the side. That seems unlikely. Can she just leave the mansion? I guess I should save. Ah, got you! I was gotten. Oh, and Carnby was hung by his heels on the... on the Flying Dutchman, which is in a cave somewhere. And everyone laughed and laughed. Alright, so there are still a few henchmen left, it seems. We also get some, a new, uh... We also get a new... Game Over theme. I guess let's follow where they went. Ooh, a car. I mean, Grace is too young to drive, though. Can we do anything with the car? seem like it and we can't go to that that there's a guy with a gun behind that gate so that's not gonna happen maybe if we could gotten in the car and like hit the gate with it and drive that guy over hey maybe that's something we could have done but it doesn't seem like it's happening what's over here
Can we go back in the house? Grace is not walking up the stairs. Listen, I mean, she can't go in the car. She can't go in the house. And, I mean, oh, they got me. I doubt Grace can get past this. No, it does not seem like it. Alright, so not many places Grace can go. Where where can she go? It doesn't seem like there's anything on the screen over here. I mean the the one that we're about to get to. Oh, there we go. There's like a square, but I mean, she can stand on this. It doesn't seem like anything happens. And she doesn't really have... She can say open search, but I mean, nothing's happened in there. There's like little holes in the wall. I was wondering if maybe she could crawl in those. But it doesn't seem like it. Over on the other side is the car, but I'm not getting any sort of text. When I uh, try to interact with the car. You know, there, there is a push option on the menu, but she doesn't actually have an animation for pushing. I, I can say open search, but... Nothing happens when I do that. Can I go to the back of the car? No, neither seem to work in the back. Hmm? Oh, she has combat? Well, she has a kick anyway. She also ha- what is that? Is that like a stomp, or...? I'm not really sure what that is. She can also do this. So she, she can taunt. Can the taunt help us? I, mean, I, don't, I don't really see how the taunt is gonna help. If I get close enough to either of these guys... It's just automatic again automatic game over. I think I could, like, just sneak by him, could I? No. no. That's not gonna work. Alright, so she, she can actually attack, but... If she gets close enough to any of the dudes, it's automatic game over. She can taunt... Don't know what the purpose of the taunt is at th is at this point. There is a car. Purpose of the car is not clear. Can we? Doesn't seem like she can go up the stairs. Yeah, yeah. 
Oddly, she doesn't have a fight command. This is her... This is her open search command. Hmm? All right, just someone just came out. Oh, okay, I was supposed to interact with the trunk. And by interact, I mean like kick it. And then a guy, and then I find a billiard ball. And then this happens. Very important to use the car to drive that distance. And what what's happening over there? I'm not sure what those guys are doing. There might be something on the ground, like a yellow thing to the right. But, I mean, I can't get close enough to them at this point anyway. They can see me. It's not automatic game over, but they do come after me. Why don't we get a good look at Grace? Look at those innocent eyes. So that's her search, I guess? Kick stuff open? Alright, well, if I can't get too close to those guys. Let's just, uh, walk as far as we can this way, I guess. Is there anything around the side of the house? Okay, yeah. There is- it looks like the property ends with, like, an abyss. So you lost, little Goyle. Right, I didn't see anyone. Maybe that's just automatic if you get too far. Alright, anything we can do with the car? Oh, we do have the billiard ball, it's true. Alright. Um, do we want to roll this ball anywhere? I guess she would automatically use it if she was in the right place. Can we do anything else with the car? I just have to do all four actions whenever I want to look at something to see if any of them happen to work. Of course, we already did this. Can I use the ball?
She's not doing any kind of animation or anything for using the ball. I guess I could try to approach and just see when do they notice me. Oh. I was actually able to get all the way there. Okay, no, now they saw me. Now they saw me. Alright, so I was able to get there. Uh, but a qu the question will be, will, will I be able to get back from there? I guess he is actually looking around. It's hard to tell where he's looking. I mean, you can, you can see him rotating... Oh, how did he, like, how did he see me there? Can I, like, throw a ball at him? Alright, there it was. All right, we got the hook. Um, what do we do with a hook? I mean, we know it can be used to open a certain kind of door. seem like there's anything around the back of the house. It seems like it's just car and then that little thing up there with the three dudes in it. I guess that we don't do anything else with the dudes. We got the we got the we got the hook. I think I would guess that's all we need to really need to do. Now it seems like if we get far away enough from if we get close enough to the edge of the property, it seems like it just automatically is a game over. Is there anywhere else we could go? It doesn't seem like there's any points. Okay, this is another this is a new screen. I've not been on this screen. I used billiard ball on this pole, and it made a statue appear. All right, can we use hook on statue? Y yeah. It created a ghost pirate. I was caught out. The witch twisted a puppet resembling my features. 
unbearable pain nailed me to the ground, and I was wondering how I could pull myself out of this mess. I had to gain some time. Fortunately, Elizabeth Jarrett was talkative. Grace threw a cheering glance at me. All right, we did it, I guess. Didn't feel like a victory. More than two centuries ago, Elizabeth Jarrett arrived in Haiti. I was then an innocent young girl, but Cotton, my tutor, taught me contempt. In hiding, a slave of his taught me to ride the shadows. Soon, the slave grew stronger than the master. Cotton felt the extent of my revenge and became my creature. The soldiers took us prisoner, but could they recognize Cotton? From then on, the Flying Dutchman was my jail. I could see the desk where the captain hid the duplicate to the Iron's key. My spirit wandered. When I Jack heard my call for help, my soul guided him. And death is my ally. <laughs> He and his crew would become immortal. And every 100 years, an innocent girl would turn old for us. <laughs> A gust of freedom freshens my jail. <laughs> oh, that's why they want Grace. Grace has to take their, their oldness. She has to age in their place. All right, I'm still controlling Grace. Go and find the key to the irons to free me. Oh, I, should, I should probably save. All right, and that's the story. Can she just pull this? Oh, we have a teddy bear. That board is heavy. Oh, okay, no, there we go. She, she can just move it. my teddy bear? No. We got a bag of seeds. Oh, she is using the teddy bear. She has teddy bear in hand. We got a sandwich and a pepper pot. Everything's coming up, Grace. And a map. You get a little bit of Choir Oz looking at the map. You can hear someone walking. we can go. 
Can we go up this? I don't think we can. What? She just kind of sat down, I think. I do with a pepper pot? What use is a pepper pot here? And a sand? Well, it says eat drink, so maybe she can just eat it herself? She apparently can just eat it herself. I mean, I was... She doesn't have health, so I, I assume that someone else needs to eat that. make some sort of deal concerning seeds. It's got to see the seeds. All right, put it in the seeds in the cup. If it is the staff you're looking for, it has been hidden. What a bore! Ah! What? In the cavern of the one-eyed man, that's where you should seek it. If you can! Ah! I don't think I was actually looking for a staff. If you please, do not sneeze! Ah! Alright, I, tr I will try not to sneeze. Do you want some pepper? What use is a pepper pot here? Then there's this. Very dramatic. When we walk in here, someone's gonna be coming. Which direction do they come from? From that direction. No, nope. okay, they see me if I do that. I must move it. Let's see if we can hide when he walks by. See if we can get down the part of the hallway that we haven't been able to get to yet. And he can see me through the wall. He can see me through the wall. So he walks that way. He's over there. Wait for him to come back. I don't think Grace can climb ladders. At least it didn't seem like she had the option to do it. Oh, she'll just fall down on occasion, I guess. Will he, like, eventually walk back this way? He's going that way. I know he's coming back.
Well, it looks like a place she could hide in. What? He did not get me. Activate him. I guess let's pick up these uh, these objects. All right, then just eventually he'll come back. He'll come back this way. Let's just, I guess, let's try giving it a save. Can she actually open these doors? Doesn't seem like she can open them. Eh, got me. Alright, so it's only closed doors, and it doesn't seem like Grace can actually open these doors. We have a sandwich. We have a pepper pot. So she can't open the door. She can't climb the ladders. At least I don't think she can climb the ladders. Let's, uh, you know. This way, the guard could surprise me. What? I got actually got text that time when I looked at the ladder. I don't know what that means. This way, the guard could surprise me. say it. I oh, know she can go up it. Very slowly. Not and not yeah, much too slowly. She cannot do it in time. Nope, that was too early.
I try searching these coats? Yeah, I don't know if there's anything in these coats. Well, not if, not, I'm not getting by anything by rubbing them anyway. It doesn't seem like we can do anything with this. Well, that's probably enough for tonight's session for Alone in the Dark 2. Well, we, uh, none of this has felt like progress. It's just sort of things are happening. Um, but we did learn some exposition. We learned why, we learned where the witch came from and how she met One-Eyed Jack and how the crew, uh, became immortal. And why they need grace, because they need gre they need grace to age for them um, in their place so they can remain forever young, playing Infogrames' brand of Grames forever. Um, but I guess at the very least, we did avenge the death of our friend Stryker because we killed that clown who killed him. 22nd of December. 1924 by making the clown walk into the room of snakes and the snakes killed him so at least there was that i like this tense sneaking music that striker gets with like the heartbeat percussion grace's stealth segments are you know maybe a little bit more whimsical um and i'm not not really sure What's happening? I mean, I have a sandwich, I have a pepper pot, the parrot said not to sneeze. I move so slow. Grace just moves extremely slow. And, like, we can climb a ladder, but not fast enough. Um, I don't know, can we make someone, can we feed that guy a sandwich? Is, no, I mean, probably not. Maybe? Can we make him sneeze with pepper? Um, we can't open any of the doors. So it's like everything that Grace can do is very restricted. There's not too many places you can go, so there's not many options, yet I, the options still seem very uh, vague to me. Like, I feel like this, I feel like everything I've done to make progress so far doesn't feel like a solution. Um... So next time, I guess we're gonna have to figure out how to get Grace past that one pacing, that forever pacing guard, so she can get into another room to get the key to unlock Carnby. He wants that key, and uh, I mean, I guess, I guess, are we out of the house now? We're on the Flying Dutchman. So is this like the final area of the game? Because this is the pirate ship, and apparently the sword of the former captain is on the ship, and that's the weapon that can kill One-Eyed Jack. Um, I'm guessing we're done with the house, and that we're now the ship is the last area. I would assume that. So, I guess? 